Hey y'all and welcome to Monthly Manny Favorites. It's already the 11th. This is really late for me to be posting it, but I'm doing it anyways. I have to every month and things just got away from me. So I'm here now. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with our countdown with number four. And three. Two. And my all-time favorite manicure this month. Okay, so I think this month, I'm just going to quickly go through all these because I have a few products I want to share with y'all. So, um, I think neutrals were a big thing for me this month. I don't know why, but I really wanted some palette cleansers. And um, so I just used a lot of neutrals and, um, yeah, just a lot of neutrals. And I didn't really do a whole lot of manicures this month. I was really surprised when I went back and looked at them all. Um, not a ton of them were my favorite, so that's why I only had four. And um, I think one of my favorite techniques this month was the bag marble. I think it's just so easy and so quick, and it just creates a really cool effect no matter what colors you're using. So that is that. I want to go ahead and get started on the products because that's what I want to focus on this month. And right now, I'm going to talk about Sweet Baby Oil. Okay, I talk about this all the time. I know you guys are probably sick of it, but I absolutely love this one. And it is the Warm Honey one. And seriously, y'all, I love these oils. I always, when I run out of them, I always just forget. And then when I use them again, my hands just love me. They just, oh my goodness. Speaking of, I probably need to use some right now. But, um, ugh. These are so amazing, and right now, Donna is doing, she's going to be doing a limited edition scent, like each month there's going to be a limited edition scent, and it's going to be pre-order based, so like you'll order, and then like at the end of the month, everything will ship out. So um, this month, I think there's a uh, chocolate, I think it's a chocolate or cocoa or something, I don't, I cannot remember, I just saw it this morning too. So I'll put the link down in the description box so you guys can purchase this and also check out her limited edition stuff when it comes out. Next up, I want to share with you guys my new favorite base coat that I've been using. And this is called the Smooth Gem Base Coat by Dream Polish and it says it strengthens and protects. And mine is in a flavor peach, so you can actually get these scented, which is really cool. And I really love the scent. It's a really nice, soft, peachy scent. And um, this base coat is just great. I stopped using Nail Envy for a little bit. I kind of have started using it again just because my nails are growing too slow for my liking. So I'm just using it right now to get my nails to grow faster again. But I am using this as well. So every manicure that I do, this is my base coat. And um, I've been using it for about three, maybe almost four weeks now. And I absolutely love it. It just goes on so smooth. It makes your nails perfectly smooth and ready for a manicure. And I really think this has been helping my polish last longer. Um, like some days I just don't want to change my nails and I've been going like four or five days with a whole manicure, which is really crazy for me because I usually change them every two days. But sometimes over the weekend I just don't want to change them or I don't have time. So... This has been helping them last about four days with no chips or anything. So um, this is really good. I'll have the link down below. It's fairly inexpensive as well, so check them out for sure. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about are some art brushes. And I'm going to talk about this one first. This one is from the Born Pretty Store. And it is a striper brush, which I have some polish on it right now but striper brush and a tiny tiny dotting tool and it's just plastic like it's just it doesn't feel flimsy though it doesn't feel like it's in a break or anything but it's just a nice little striper brush and the bristles are just really good for creating perfect lines it's just you can get really good control with this and um really really cheap I'll put the link down below so you guys can purchase that. And I do have a 10% off code, which I'll put down below as well for you guys. And I don't make money off of that. It's just 10% off for you. And then the last two brushes I want to talk to you about are these two brushes from the Stylish Nail Art Shop. And I will put the link down below, of course, so you guys can purchase these um, or uh, check them out. And... Uh, 
this one that I have is Pure Color 10 and Pure Color 9, and they are detailer brushes, and they're metal, and they feel really sturdy, and they're beautiful, and this one, you get... They're about $7 each, I think, but then you got to pay about $7 shipping because it's from Japan, just so you all know. But it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but one of them is a striper brush, so it's like a little longer, but it's very firm. And I do have polish on it right now, I'm sorry, but I haven't cleaned them yet. And then this one's a shorter one um, for really, really small detail stuff. And I've been wanting these for so long, but I just haven't... I either haven't been able to get them, or I just keep forgetting to buy them when I do have the money, so finally I took the plunge and bought them, and I'm so happy I did. I've been using these all month long for different things in my shop, with my clients, on my own nails, everything, and they are so good. I really love them, and I can't wait to do some really, really detailed stuff with this. I haven't done detail art in so long, y'all, and I was gonna the other day and I just ran out of time, so I'm hoping some point this month or at least when fall and October come around, I'll be doing some more details, so be using these more. So that's it for my products, but I do have two more exciting things that I really want to show y'all. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. First, so y'all know I went to Nail Pro Pasadena and um, back in April, and Nail Pro Magazine invited me as a blogger. So that was really exciting and so much fun. And y'all know I talked about that in blog. Well, I ended up in their July issue of the magazine. Right there is me. My whole little self is in there from the picture they took of me at Nail Pro. And I absolutely love it. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It was so fun. Um, my teacher actually from nail school found it and showed it to me, so I knew I had to get the magazine. So while I was there visiting Nail Pro a couple weeks ago for something special that I can't wait to share with y'all, I hope, I hope I get to share some of it soon with y'all. But um, while I was there, they gave me the magazine so I could check them out. And then also in the new one for August, this is the August magazine, I am, I was flipping through this and I was just at my shop just looking at it because they gave it to me because um, it was the new one that came out so they were like you can just have that one so I was just flipping through here so I was just flipping through the magazine and there are my purple nails right there my, yeah right there and I was so excited oh my god I was just sitting in my shop and there it was I flipped the page and there's my nails in Nail Pro magazine Oh my goodness. So that was just really exciting and I can't believe that I got to be in both magazines in July and August and it was just so exciting and I can't believe all the exciting things that are happening for me all and I really, really, really can't wait to share with you what I did at Nail Pro a couple weeks ago. So I hope that I'm able to share some of that with y'all later and um... I think that's it for this monthly Manny favorites. Let me know some of your favorites, anything that you used, tools or new polish that you discovered or cuticle oils or anything. Let me know some of your favorites down below. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Phone ringing, really? Hey y'all, so it's monthly Manny favorites time again, and I always say that, and I hate it. Oh lord. I've already not even known what I'm saying. Ready, set, reset. I was trying to sit here for like a good 10 minutes after my video and try to make bloopers. Because I never have any bloopers. <sighs> hey y'all, today we're doing a Born Pretty review and demo. The product I'm reviewing is the base for this manicure, which is a color changing polish number 110. I'm also using Color Club Eternal Beauty Purple Holographic Polish and this stamp and plate right here, JQ04, with the star's magical design. And as always, my Creative Shop Stamper Set.
I'm going to start by placing the polish right onto the image. And then I'm going to drag the polish towards me.